I've been talking a lot about veganism and warning people about why a vegan diet is so dangerous and a malnourishing diet that makes people deteriorate. But today, we're not really focusing towards vegans. In this video, today, we're gonna be focused upon extreme dogmatic carnivore people out there because I think people need to be very aware of this. So, I switched to a carnivore-based diet, not 100%, carnivore diet, but a carnivore based diet where I eat predominantly animal foods in my diet the majority of the time around 45 days ago. And when I got into this diet and also before actually getting into this diet, what I started to notice is that a lot of people that are into the carnivore diet and movement, a lot of them seem to be very similar as these extreme idealistic, dogmatic fruitarians out there. And what I mean by that is, I have seen with these specific types of carnivores I'm talking about, and not all carnivore people out there are not like this, but there is a lot of them. So don't think that I'm stereotyping and saying all carnivores are like this because this is not the case whatsoever with the people that follow a carnivore diet. So, what I mean is that so many people start to get very dogmatic to get on a carnivore a diet, in the sense that they say, well, only raw carnivore foods are the best for us, and all of the cooked ones are bad for us. And the more you cook it, the more toxic it is for you. We're not designed for cooked meats or other carnivore foods in a cooked state whatsoever. In a natural habitat, we would only eat them in their raw, natural state, which is just based on ideologies and people's own personal opinion. Because if you look into archeological findings for millions of years, we have been cooking meat. We are designed for it and we evolved to eat it. I'm not saying that we can't eat it raw because yes, you can eat it raw. And in a lot of cases, having it in its raw natural state can be more nutrient dense. And the longer that you cook your carnivore food, such as meat, the more it could start to destroy a lot of different nutrients in it. So there is that type of train of thought, but can you be healthy with eating no raw meat whatsoever and all cooked meat? Yes, you can, and you can thrive and have an optimal state of health within your mind and body holistically just like I do. The pretty much the only raw thing that I eat is raw liver because I'm just not drawn to eating it in its cooked form whatsoever. But that is my own personal preference. So just be careful of this train of thought and don't put yourself in a box and start becoming a cultish carnivore person like a lot of these cultish fruitarians that say all cooked food is bad and they demonize it all together. Yes, some people may not feel so good from cooked meat and they might feel that they feel better eating all raw meat, but we're not all the same. So it's all about our own personal experience. Try out things, see how you feel from it. If it doesn't work for you, try something else. Just because someone feels the best on a raw meat carnivore based diet doesn't necessarily mean you will or I will. And then there's a lot of extreme dogmatic carnivores out there that say you must eat organ meat because it is the most nutrient dense foods that you can possibly eat in the world. Which yes, if you look at raw liver, for example, it is so nutrient rich, way more nutrient rich than muscle meat. But does it mean that you have to eat organ meats? No, not whatsoever. You may feel better on them, or you may feel better without them. So again, it's all about your own personal experience and your own personal preference. Try them out. See if you feel really amazing from them. If you do, continue eating them. If you're someone that maybe has some severe nutritional deficiencies going on, then I would recommend that you try and eat organ meats on a regular basis. Because like I said, they're one of the most nutrient dense foods and one of the best superfoods in the world that is natural and healthy for you. And something I see time and time again with people that get on the carnivore diet, a lot of them just become very extreme in the sense of, they say that all other foods that are not carnivore foods are toxic and bad for you. Which this is a very broad statement to make because 
one person could eat this plant food and be fine with it and this person is not and so forth. And I've seen that I react to certain plant foods. My sister has switched to a carnivore based diet after being vegan for many years. She reacts to different ones to me and other people I know react to other different things. So it's all about being mindful and seeing which foods that you are drawn to, try them out. If they react badly with in your body and make you feel not good at all, then discontinue eating it. And experiment with other different foods, see which ones make you feel the best and continue eating them. That makes the best sense. Because what you may react to, I may not react to whatsoever. And it may make me feel good and give me amazing digestion and it may mess up your digestion and your mental health, but it may improve my mental health and my cognitive functions and so on. So you just have to be very careful with saying, well, this food is bad and this one and that one and that one for every single person because that isn't true. Certain people react very badly to oxalates. Some people don't. Some of the people in the world react with salicylates, which is a known plant toxins. Some people react to histamines and don't. People have different issues going on. Some people have a really compromised gut microbiome and just gut health overall. Some people have had those antibiotics, some people haven't. So the people that have the most messed up gut health and gut microbiome are gonna to react to way more different foods compared to someone that has maybe got optimal gut health and gut microbiome. But the carnivores will say, well, I've been on a carnival diet for ages. I've heard some people say this and I took one bite of an apple and I reacted so badly and it induced so many negative symptoms in me for weeks. And guess what? Does it mean that apple is bad? Not necessarily. If you've been on a carnivore diet for so long, you haven't been getting any of these different plant toxins in your body whatsoever, which cause a hormetic effect, which means it's causing a stress response within the body. So if you haven't had it for a very, very long a time and you've been avoiding it completely, and then you go and eat some of it in a food, it could react with you very, very badly. It doesn't mean the food's bad, it means you're just not used to the hormetic effect. So if you wanna start reintroducing certain specific foods that have certain plant toxins in, you would wanna eat the smallest amount possible. Say with someone that has been avoiding coffee for so long, say you come back and drink a cup of coffee, it could affect you so badly due to the hormetic effect and other reasons as well. But if you were to consume like one coffee bean, then you wouldn't necessarily get any issues with it. And then you could slowly build up the dose that you are having. But if you have too much, too soon, your body's not used to it, yes, you're gonna get some very, very negative effects. And maybe you are just someone that for the rest of your life, you need to avoid certain foods. But it doesn't mean that it is bad for everyone, as I mentioned earlier on. We are all different, we have all different genetics and many other things that need to be taken into consideration. So just saying that everyone should not be eating this specific thing is absolutely ridiculous, except for certain things. Say like things that contain canola oil or corn syrup and all these processed foods and all of these other man-made foods, yes. I could understand why people say, well, no one should be eating that because it's not a natural food. It's not designed for us. It's factory made and it's full of so much garbage. But when you're looking at plant-based whole foods and also animal-based whole foods, yes, some people can get benefits from them. Some people will get negative effects from different ones. So yes, just don't go around screaming and shouting that if you go and eat this specific plant food, oh my God, it's gonna completely destroy you and mess you up. Because it might not for other people, but it may do for you. And there is a lot of people out there that find that a 100% carnival diet makes them feel the best, but then there's other people that find that it doesn't. A lot of people say, well, they're not doing it right, but what I'd say is, yes, there are a lot of people that don't do it right, and there's a lot of people doing it right, and it's just, not 100% suitable for them to eat 100% carnivore diet all of the time. They may find that they need to do some carb cycling with some healthy carbs to optimize their sports performance if there's someone that's working out, or there could be some other reasons as to why they need to have some things that are not carnivore foods. It's all about experimentation and yeah, you may find with trying out different things and not just following someone's dogmatic beliefs with their dietary recommendations and switching some things up may work better 
for you. So yeah, just be very careful. With any diet, it can be easy to put yourself in a box. And I have done that with diets in the past and it can have a very negative effect on you. And you can start to see every other food as bad when maybe you need certain foods to make you feel even better. And sticking to a diet that is very, very strict for a very long period of time that is excluding all other foods, for a lot of people, they can run into issues. I'm not saying everyone because some people can do it for a very long period of time and be absolutely fine. So just always be within yourself, be present, be mindful, and if something's not working for you, switch it up. Don't go to someone that is some extreme carnival person where you're doing a 100% carnival diet, you've been doing it for a long time, you're doing it right and it's not working for you, and they say, well, just keep doing it, keep grinding it out, and you will be fine. Don't try some other foods that maybe can give you certain things that you've been lacking, or that you need to actually have the most optimal state of health within your mind and body holistically. So that's it from me and this video. If you like the video, like it down below, leave your questions down below, don't forget to share and subscribe, and enjoy the rest of your day in the most amazing way that you possibly can, just like I am going to do. And I'm gonna make sure that I see today and make the most of it, and I hope you do as well. So as always, stay happy and enjoy the rest of your day. Catch you on the flip side. Peace.